Okay, and this is objective one, day one, part three, which is those problems, is six through eight. And pick out a new color here. Um, all of these deal with independent versus dependent as opposed to the substitution that we were doing a second ago. And your answers, you should have gotten D, G, and C. I think most people got these, but I'll provide the explanation in case there's somebody who needed help with it. So the first one, problem six, says Jerry can row a boat at the speed of eight miles per hour with the current. The number of miles m she rows with the current in h hours can be represented by the function m equals 8h. Which of the following represents the dependent quantity in this function? So you need to focus on this equation here. It says m equals 8h. And if you remember from class, we said that independent is in the equation and dependent is at the end of the equation. So they're asking for dependent, reread that to make sure you pick the right one. So they're asking for which one is at the end of the equation. H is in the equation, so that's your independent. M is the one that's out by himself, so that's your dependent. So M, you need to look here and see what it stands for. It's the number of miles that she rows so then just look for that answer in the answer choices. And that would be D, the number of miles Jerry rose. So that's all you have to do is just look at the equation. In number seven, it says the volume of a rectangular prism is given by the function V equals L times W times H, or length times width times height. Which statement is true? So once again, you need to fixate yourself on which is in the equation and which is at the end of the equation. These three letters are all in the equation. And this one is at the end of the equation. So even though there's three letters here, they're all independent together. None of them are numbers. They're all variables that can change. So basically, the volume depends on the length. It also depends on the width. And it depends on the height of an object. But length doesn't depend on width. Width doesn't depend on height. All of these three variables can change on their own and don't depend on what any of the other ones are doing. So that's why they're independent, because they're all by themselves. And the volume is dependent, because it depends on what these three values are. So if you look in your answer choices and you read G, it says that the volume of the prism depends on the product of, and remember product means multiply, length, width, and height. So length, width, and height are here, and so that would be your answer. If you look at the other answer choices, the reason that they're wrong is because they only have two of the variables at a time. For example, length and width, or length and height, or width and height. It's got to be all three. Volume depends on what all three of them are. The last one is number eight. It says, if y is a function of x in equation y equals x squared minus 9, which statement is true? And this one is really tricky because the answer choices all look so similar. It's easy to get tripped up. But I want you to remember that since x is in the equation, it's independent. And since y is at the end of the equation, it's dependent. So if you look at, for example, choice b, it says the independent variable y. Is y independent? And the answer is no, it's dependent. So b can't be the right answer because it says that wrong. Same thing with d, it says the dependent variable x. Well, x is not dependent, it's independent. So that rules out choice d. So you're left deciding between A and C, and if you just read the first few words, you'll get the answer. If we read A, it says the independent variable X, which is good, X is independent, is equal to, do you see X equal to anything? Like, you don't see this, right? So that's not really describing what's going on. If we look at C, it says the dependent variable Y is true, that's dependent, is equal to, so here's my is equal to, 9 less than, so here's 9 less than, the square of the independent variable x. And there's the square of x. So that's why c works out to be your answer.